Hey guys, short video today. All right, so Halloween's over with, and uh, we usually pack up after that, but this year, the weather's been warm, the water's been low, still low. Uh, they're letting the lakes out, but it hasn't risen the river, river very much, so we're actually gonna do some encore videos, is what we're gonna call them. And we're actually gonna be out still searching for those big fish. Hopefully I can catch a big flathead. Uh, better late than never, but we'll see. But uh, we don't have the time because uh, we're currently recording videos and the, yesterday, uh, tomorrow, so I got a lot going on. Uh, starting next Wednesday, we'll be uh, posting these videos. So I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of our little lot. I don't know that I've ever truly done it, maybe in the very beginning. But basically, I own this little one acre lot on the Green River. And we got a little cabin here, kind of surrounded by rock faces. There's an old house up there, nobody lives in it. And there's one house straight over that way, you can't see it. And some of you may remember that we had this old tree that was falling down. And back in the spring, uh, we actually cut it down. And we left a large stump, mainly because I, I paid someone to hundred dollars to do it and that's what i got for a hundred bucks which is pretty damn good and uh still waiting we may bust up the wood but the water as a lot of you know goes comes up over this bank it's actually been as high as the doorknob of our cabin there now a lot of our stuff is stored underneath inside uh, we got a canoe there that's what i use sometimes to go out to the boats when the water's up and the boats are still out but it's just a empty little lot, but it's still pretty private. And over the years, my dad and all them, they, uh, they've had many different uh, uh, launching places here, but we didn't have stairs, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, usually it was a rope and we literally just climbed up the bank. Sometimes we made mud stairs and a lot of you know uh, that back in the about the middle of the year when we started our transition over to patreon and uh, you know doing part of the video publicly on youtube so mostly and then our real videos on patreon that we decided we were going to go ahead and get a dock so we got these decent docks uh, they're actually real docks the last one we had wasn't real I got one over there for other people to use. Daniel, this is his boat. It's actually our original HLC boat. It's a 1998 uh, John boat. Uh, it's got a 9.9 .9, uh, motor on it. And uh, mine is a 1984, the, the boat is. I think it's called a Big John. All right guys, real quick, we're gonna just do a, a quick overview of our boat. Uh, it's it's a simple old boat. It's meant to be that way. I got several things in here though. Uh, it looks the same pretty much every time we get set up. I'll start from the front. We always got some type of clip, just a cheap old clip. We, we use those quite, lose those quite often, but uh, it's good for trot lining. We got a front thing here. A lot of people don't realize that this is foam several millimeters of it it doesn't catch very good on the hooks a little bit it will but not too bad still smooth enough to slide around a little bit but it's soft enough a lot of people think it's wood and i got enough of it to do it again and uh it's the same color though so we'll run into the same issues but <laughs> we always got a couple at least cheap knives laying around everybody should have a knife just in case we are dealing with a lot of lines and some people bring their own and we have the logo here which has been on there for i'd say well over a year we replaced it one time got lots of stickers i usually got stickers with me if you're traveling down the river and you see me say hello i'll, I'll give you one if you want one and then of course uh sitting right here this is what the point person usually sees and me sitting in the back dealing with all this stuff and then they have access to two nets a small net and a big net uh, we tried to solve that issue several times but the big net just too too much to deal with and the small net is not big enough for the big fish so currently that's what we're using um, and then moving on we got uh we have a toolbox there inside the toolbox there are hooks sinkers more clips uh, we got 
bug spray we got more hooks we got uh, backup scales and whatnot and you know everything that you might need to work on a motor of course we got a paddle i only have one i used to do two but i decided one paddle was enough and then i got some type of hook usually always got one and that's that's an expensive one there but that was the only one they had and uh, a lot of people ask me like well, hey why do you have your gas tank and your battery up here you should do it this way you should do it that way the reason i do is because that is how i want to do it and also because this boat just stays here the boat stays on the green river for weeks you know i own this area we got a lot of people looking at it we got a a camera there that's always snapping pictures i could probably get this shot right now if i think of it to put it on here but you know uh it's a lot of work to do trot lining in and out in and out in and out so we just leave it out and when you do that and it rains a lot your boat fills completely up with water and this boat will fill completely up to the rim there's foam underneath all these seats so it will not sink but it will get close and i don't want my gas tank or the hose especially not the battery to be in the water ever so that's how i do it plus it's kind of balancey it's good enough for me and like i said from right here is usually where i'm sitting i'm dealing with uh the camera the motor uh, i'm trying my best to do what i can do back here uh, we always got some type of cutting board for when we're baiting up and we got one of these because it's tough to catch the bait out of the bucket i used to be better at it uh, we got the little fish of fortune thing where we play our game all of that is in here stays in here uh, first aid kit probably needs to be replaced that's not exactly watertight uh, and we have a center thing here that we pretty much put everything in phones sunglasses anything that you don't want to get wet and you don't want kind of moving around the boat a lot of people will stuff their clothes in there too but and i got a bunch of other things and this right here is where my camera goes the one i'm holding i usually just stick it inside there and uh you know it's good to go and then there's the other other side here which is meant for uh this right here so that goes on that and and then we have two umbrellas usually in the boat and you know it'll stick on there i might have to force it but then we could we could just keep on going i can have both cameras <laughs> and obviously the main camera is right here i got this covered but this is where the camera is and i do leave it in the boat it's very aggravating to strap that in every time so one day i was like you know what we're just going to strap it in and we're going to cover it every time and that's been going on for well over a year and it has worked and like i said we have uh, a motor we got real quick we got i always have at least three life jackets used to do two but every now and then there are three people in the boat as you know and by law you have to have one life jacket for everybody in the boat and this thing right here is made just for the game and we have a 2001 nissan four stroke uh, 18 horsepower i got it out of tennessee i think it's a 18b whatever that means and i have never had to do anything hardly to it i changed the oil i changed the gear oil i changed the spark plugs i've changed a couple of the hoses and that's it I, you don't even got to choke it i don't really don't even know how it works they say hey you don't choke it you just start it like a harley whatever that means and i used to always say that i wanted the uh, two stroke because hlc was supposed to be eclectic old you know uh old school stuff well once i got this four stroke i'm pretty much addicted to it for one main reason is i don't have to mix the gas it's so so much better especially at the end of the year when we got a bunch of gas left over i could just pour it in my truck and by the way i have a 2019 nissan frontier the the uh midnight edition which is our hlc colors which are black and white so anyway so like i said we're gonna make uh i don't know how many videos but it looks like we're gonna have at least a couple weeks of good weather i'm waiting for daniel to get off because we're gonna go uh fix the lines uh, re replace some hooks and whatnot and if we don't uh if we don't catch any fish down that way we may move the lines uh we're going to try to fill november and then after that the plan is uh to do some wrap up in uh december which is going to be best video of the year we're probably going to narrow it down to about three videos and then we're going to kind of do some uh, extra stuff for those particular videos 
some extra live streams and uh and then we'll have you guys vote on it uh and um and then we'll do a final announcement of the winners uh, biggest fish of the year still not decided uh, as of right now it's ashley but you never know what could happen in the next few videos if we if we get out here and then we're gonna have the best video of the year and uh, that's gonna be up to you guys so like i said uh anything can happen these are considered encore videos and we had a lot a little bit of a problem in that i didn't have enough room to put the videos that i wanted because i have a lot of outtakes from july on and i decided we'll just put them in january it'll probably be maybe a week or two after uh our final video that may still be december but it'll be december and january where we'll put all the outtakes at least every saturday that's the plan anyway and most likely just shut down for february and march and we'll we'll start coming back in april we'll probably start shooting in march we may do one or two videos uh not charged or anything on patreon but that is like i said we're just learning uh, this is our first attempt uh, i feel like we got our bearings uh, we're making a few changes but uh i think uh i think what we're doing is working and we're going to keep building keep doing what we're going to do and as long as you guys keep watching then we'll keep doing it so uh, just have a little patience uh, we're gonna have some live streams this month uh, there, I think there was one yesterday and um, there should be some in the future especially in November because they're going to be testing people are gonna be testing to see if they can do a live stream from their home and they're just gonna send me the link I'm gonna post it privately on patreon and then those of you that are that are interested you could tune in and and then maybe over the winter y'all could keep tabs on uh, some of the people on the channel uh, I'll probably go missing uh, in uh, probably January February March and then I'll return in April and we'll have a whole new plan and a whole new setup but uh, we'll, we'll probably re go over this one more time uh, but just look for our next video next Wednesday and we'll try to post as often as we can uh, to get these encore videos out there and hopefully we can catch a big one and uh, see if we can't challenge that 51 pounder but thanks for watching